From badass Punishers to Bazooka Vespas, here are 15 of the coolest military vehicles. Number 15. PL-01 Stealth Tank This Polish tank of the future has some pretty incredible features. Besides being modern and compact, it has special temperature-controlled wafers on its surface. So, this special chameleon-like skin allows it to process the small infrared sensors detected by the infrared sensors on the tank, making the tank invisible to infrared sensors. The active infrared camouflage skin can give the tank tiger stripes in the jungle or make it look flat in the desert. It can also make itself look like a car or another common object by matching the temperature of its surroundings and then displaying a pre-programmed image. It looks like the tank has been revolutionized as we know it. It is scheduled for full-scale production by 2018. Number 14. Kugelpanzer this tank is the most mysterious and weirdest tank of World War II. Its name in German means ball tank, but there is little to no documentation existing about the tank. What little is known is that it was created by the Germans and shipped to Japan during World War II. In 1945, one was captured by Soviets and is currently on display at the Kubinka Tank Museum in Russia. It has been speculated that the tank was intended for one-man reconnaissance missions and may have been armed with a machine gun of sorts. Its walls were only 5 millimeters thick, and it was relatively small, only large enough for one passenger. Its mobility was made possible by the two sides of the craft, which would rotate together to cause forward motion. It did possess one smaller wheel off its side, which may have aided in maneuvering the ball tank. Number 13. The Marauder The Marauder is an armored vehicle produced by Paramount Group in South Africa. The 21,000-pound vehicle can sustain blasts from mines and hand grenades. Originally designed to operate in urban, built-up, and confined areas, it is smaller in both size and weight than the Matador, a similarly armored vehicle. The Marauder has a cruising speed of around 100 to 120 kilometers per hour and a maximum range of 700 kilometers. Number 12. General Dynamics Flyer The Flyer 72 was selected by the U.S. Special Operations Command, SOCOM, as the vehicle of choice for their fleet of ground mobility vehicles. It is equipped to handle blasts from landmines and hand grenades. The vehicle can operate at high speeds for long ranges, off-road, and in various weather conditions. It can be configured for many roles including light strike, personnel rescue and recovery, reconnaissance, and communications. The Flyer has a fuel efficiency of 24 miles per gallon at 40 miles per hour. It's ultra fortified with heavy duty armor and it packs a ton of weaponry including a 50 caliber M2 machine gun on its roof. Number 11. The Punisher. This beast is reportedly Russia's newest lightweight troop carrier. It can haul about 10 people and is mine and bullet resistant. While there is not a lot of information out on this vehicle, the Moscow Times reports it has about 730 horsepower and has large windows with a view of the outside terrain, bulletproof of course. With all the armor it has, it weighs about 26,000 pounds and can hit a top speed of about 93 miles per hour, making it the fastest armored troop carrier in the world. Number 10. Volkswagen Schwimmwagen as the name implies, Volkswagen Schwimmwagen was an amphibious car, get it, Schwimmwagen, made during World War II. What this little wagon lacked in armed force, it made up for in character. It was somewhat based on the platform of the VW Beetle and had a four-wheel drive only in the first speed and in reverse. More than 15,500 Type 166 were produced from 1941 to 1944. It boasted a pair of stout wooden oars and a removable hood, a shovel, a pickaxe, and had no doors. The first of these vehicles were used by SS units on the Eastern Front as well as Northern Africa. Africa. It was great for crossing marshy terrain and was light and reliable and could be used for scouting or regular transport on the front line. According to Tanks Encyclopedia, the Schwimmwagen remains the most heavily produced amphibious car in history. As a valuable and rare machine, it is still loved by car collectors everywhere. Number 9. 
Oshkosh Hempt. This heavy expanded mobility tactical truck is an eight-wheel drive diesel-powered tactical truck produced by Oshkosh Defense and used by the U.S. Army, among others. Its purpose is to provide heavy transport capabilities, obviously, for supply and resupply of combat vehicles and weapon systems. It's available in a variety of models, so you can choose your favorite. In the ever-changing battlefield, Oshkosh prides itself on making reliable heavy tactical vehicles to keep up with the terrain, threats, and demands, as well as provide support to the troops when they need it most. They are practically indestructible and can get as high as 4 miles per gallon. Oshkosh is now also coming out with mine-resistant ambush-protected or MRAP armored vehicles such as the LATV with hybrid diesel-electric powertrain that also acts as a generator for powering external equipment. Number 8. Force Protection Ocelot The Ocelot is a light protected patrol vehicle LPPV, with specialized protection against roadside bombs and improvised explosive devices. The protective pod holds up to six people and can perform as an ambulance, supply vehicle, or jeep. It has a modular design meaning that some parts are interchangeable, making it a real-life transformer. It can travel through terrain that would not be accessible to other civilian vehicles, such as jungle, deep mud, or rust. Its cabin is made of advanced materials that can provide protection like metal armor with a composite spall liner, and at the same time it is not as heavy as other vehicles and saves fuel. Number 7. IMI Combat Guard The Combat Guard produced by Israeli Military Industries in collaboration with Ido Off-Road Center is a bulletproof monster truck that can go up to 95 miles per hour on-road and 75 miles per hour off-road on its massive 54-inch tires. Combat Guard features 90-degree approach and departure angles, can climb 70-degree slopes, and can wade through 5 feet of water. It can also clear a 2.5-foot vertical obstacle, which was a key requirement requirement for fighting in urban areas, which is kind of a scary thought. The floor is elevated with a special V-shape and blast-absorbing structure, giving the occupants a shot at surviving a mine IED strike, a popular tactic among insurgents in the Middle East. Number 6. SDKFZ-2 This zippy little hot rod has been dubbed the motorcycle on steroids. Maybe better than its real name, Klein's Ketten Kraftrad HK-101, or Trax Motorcycle. Its other official name was the SDKFZ-2, short for Sonderkraft Fahrzeug, or Special Purpose Vehicle, or something like that. About 8,345 were built between 1940 and 1944 and were first used by German paratroopers as an airborne tractor that would fit inside the Junker 52. Its crowning glory was its ability to grip all types of terrain, even up to a 25% incline on mountains. The Nazis used it for scouting, transportation, and even aircraft tugging. It could carry two men and up to 500 kilograms of munitions, as well as tow a trailer. After the war, many were used for transportation in remote locations and for agricultural purposes. Many are turned off by this tracked military motorcycle for being on the wrong side of World War II, but it is huge among collectors since the concept of the tracked motorcycle never really caught on. Number 5. BC Customs Search and Rescue Tactical Vehicle Produced by BC Customs and made from lightweight aircraft tubing, this all-terrain tactical combat vehicle can go over 100 miles per hour and scale 70-degree hills. It's easily configured frame can be adjusted based on mission and terrain specifications. With state-of-the-art communications equipment and a massive roof-mounted Gatling gun, this vehicle is perfect for rescue missions and air droppability. The SRTV provides a skeletal base for all kinds of ballistic and blast armoring and is used most frequently by the U.S. Air Force. Number 4. MPVC the Buffalo Mine Protected Clearance Vehicle, or MPVC, is a six-wheel, heavily armored vehicle manufactured by Force Protection. Rising to 10 feet tall, the Buffalo weighs 76,000 pounds and was designed for both on- and off-road excursions and can reach up to 65 miles per hour. The first Buffalo was deployed in Afghanistan in 2003 with the U.S. Army. Much of the vehicle's body is protected by bulletproof materials that are meant to increase its ability to approach risky situations. Situations. Its most unique feature is the 30-foot robotic arm and iron claw that is mounted with a camera and sensory equipment. This large claw attachment allows the truck to remove or relocate dangerous items such as explosives. 
Number 3. Vespa 150 Tap This Vespa is not your average scooter. This bazooka Vespa from France was created as a vehicle that could get around easily and had a built-in armor-piercing gun. The Vespa Tap would be airdropped, fully assembled, and ready for action. They would transport it with the troops in planes and then drop them in pairs, making them the perfect anti-guerrilla weapon. At the time of its use, the Vespa sold for about $50. Initially, some thought that this Vespa was ridiculous because of its odds size ratios and its awkward appearance. However, it proved an effective tool against guerrillas in Algeria and Indochina in the 50s. Number 2. Tardec RSTV This ultralight vehicle was designed for ground assault missions and mobile power generating and battle situations. The cool thing about it? It's a hybrid! It has the ability to operate on electric power making it completely silent, making it the ultimate weapon, and allowing for a quick getaway. The size and weight of this vehicle as a hybrid is definitely a challenge for its creators, but it looks like the Tardec is also in line to replace the Humvee as the primary military vehicle. And now for number one, but first, be sure to subscribe! Number one, high-speed amphibian technology. Maybe the most exciting development at the moment is Gibbs HSA technology. They have been working with Lockheed Martin to develop its core models for the military sector by integrating command and control capability as well as armor and weapon systems. Right out of a James Bond movie, these vehicles can go from land to sea in just 12 seconds. With a push of a button, the wheels retract and water jets propel the vehicle through the water. Based on on the Humdinga 4x4, Gibbs is now designing expeditionary craft as well as TerraQuads to create a seamless link between automotive and marine transportation technologies. These new vehicles can travel about 45 miles per hour on the water and around 65 miles per hour on land. These amphibian vehicles are excellent for special forces, and it looks like we might be seeing it for civil applications soon, so be ready! Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe! See you soon! Bye!